Good day, Internet, and welcome to River City Ransom Underground Underground. My name is Andrew Russell, and I'm the lead programmer on River City Ransom Underground. And in this show, we talk a little bit about some of the technical features in the River City Ransom Underground engine. Now, today I have the game up. Uh, I don't want to say I have the game up. There it is. And today we're going to talk a little bit uh, about this level um, boiler room, which is one of the earlier levels that we did. I actually. It's been redone since, but this is a level that I actually input totally by hand before we had a working editor for the uh, current system. Um, and so the reason that I have brought you to Boiler Room is specifically this staircase. And it's one of the early things that we worked out with the height map system um, that we had to do to make staircases work. So if I turn on the height map view, you'll notice, now unfortunately there's a railing in front so you can't quite see it, but I do have it up in the editor, so we'll have a look at there in a moment. You'll notice that the staircase does not physically line up with the graphical staircase. And so I'm gonna hop on over, in fact, I'm gonna hop over to the editor and show you how that is. Um, here's the level in the editor and I'm gonna bring up the background height map. And you'll see quite clearly here, let's bump that right up. You can see that the staircase graphically looks normal, but if I show the height map, you'll see there's set with a different oblique settings. And here, something I didn't show you last week is a set of um, height map instructions. So we can actually put a series of these and each of these sort of gets layered over the top of the one before it. So if I can find the staircase, which is set from front edge. So here's the mask and you'll see that the mask is, um, oh, we using, yeah, I, okay, that makes sense. Um, the mask is here and so you can see the front edge is this one that we use. Um, and we've got it set to a particular depth so we've got it 38 back so that actually takes it from here in the screen back 38 pixels from the sort of origin of the level we have depth 23 um, so let me let me adjust some of these so if I hit that to 30 you'll see that it shifts forward so 38 and it shifts back to where it should be and if I increase it to 48 you'll see it shifts off backwards and we actually cause a little bit of drama here because the values go out of range 38 so the depth, I can change that to 20 and it gets shorter. I can change it to 50 and it gets a lot bigger. Uh, 23 is where it started. There's, there's two, so it gets very thin, 23. And so that's the correct size of the staircase. And you can tell because it lines up here at the top. Uh, height isn't used by this. And I don't think offset is either, but also we can just change it to a left slope. If we wanted the stairs to be sort of going up in the other oblique direction, we can also go change it to a flat uh, straight slope so these actually the stairs go backwards uh, directly so you can see that that actually still lines up but it doesn't do exactly what I want so we're going to go and leave it right so <clears throat> let's talk a little bit about the reason that we do this so first I will show you on the um, on the whiteboard so let's say we have a staircase and we're going to make it like our, like our staircase in the game. It's going to be sort of a brownie, brownie staircase. And it looks like that. We've got a sort of plinth at the top and it comes down here and it goes back at an oblique angle of 45 degrees because of our oblique projection. And then um, it looks a little like that and a little like that. So there's the staircase and um, that should yeah, be 45 degrees as well. So it's all the same angle. Now, what would happen if we just used this shape directly is if we bring our happy little player. So a happy little player, and as always, he's a happy little player, has a collision box and, um, you know, it's more sort of boxy than that. It looks like this. And you'll have seen this in the engine. I'm going to show you in a moment. And this is, this is the, uh, box that gets used to calculate collisions. So it's sort of has a width and it's got a height. And uh, depending on the calculation, it's either got uh, zero depth or one 
depth and that's not a division symbol that's a or symbol i guess an option so the problem is you know if he's at the front of the staircase he can stand here quite comfortably and he collides on his front corner here whereas if he's standing on the back of the staircase and he's just colliding with it um, he ends up standing on his front corner here that's colliding this point here is colliding with the edge of the stairs and so when you draw this in game you end up with the character looking very strange because his like feet are hovering in midair there's all this space under him so we don't want any of that we want to back out of all of those changes because we don't want that last graphical glitch to occur so what we do is we use the uh, different oblique um, the different slope setting in the uh, mask editor and we make the staircase look like um, this so it doesn't come back at 45 degrees anymore it comes back at let's do that again let's try that all again so it comes back the stairs themselves not this bit come back at slightly more than 45 degrees so 45 degrees is one pixel one pixel one pixel one pixel one pixel one pixel we're doing a slope of two so it's actually one pixel one two pixels one pixel one two pixels one pixel one two pixels and so it's a slightly steeper slope and the base is the same as well and it comes back like that but what you find is that it lines up here so then we join that together and we join that together and we end up with the stairs being the shape that they are in pink and so you now we've got the height map here that tells us how um how tall everything is and now if we come in and we bring our fellow in on this side we put the box he um stands on the front corner and if you draw draw him in you now he looks like he's standing on the stairs and he's colliding with the front corner here and everything is fine now if you put him here he still collides with the front corner of his um physics collision box but now his front corner is here but he looks visually like he's centered on the top of the stairs so he looks like he's here whereas he's actually here in physical space and so when you draw him you know you've got his head and his body and his feet and his feet you'll find instead of being off floating in midair now look like they're attached to the staircase itself um give him better arms and a happy smile um so let me show you how this works in game now so there's the editor and you can see again the slope here is different to the graphical slope of the stairs and if i bring up the game you'll see that his feet are more or less like not exact but it's close enough so he's actually right up against that wall and it looks pretty good it looks like he's standing on the stairs but in fact he's still hovering in the air but the stairs are now shorter like so um, so now if I turn on graphical setting for the uh, character bounding boxes you'll see in fact that he's actually standing sort of in midair compared to the height map let me see if I can do something really tricky here with the uh, really crank up the production values and um, uh yeah let's try this here we go now draw in here so um yeah so you can see here that the um that there is a in fact a gap here but visually it looks fantastic it looks like he's standing on those stairs so that's the that's the sort of tricky thing that we do with the staircase to make everything line up visually now the other thing that i want to show you uh while we have this running in the game let's um bring the game back to the front 
and um, get, whoops, uh, fix that eventually. Here, never mind that. Where? Oh, my fingers are like one over on the keyboard. So here we go. We've got Alex, and he wants to go through this door now. Um, four doors open, and you'll see that he actually hits his head on. Yeah, he, bring the camera back. He hits his head on this door frame. And the reason that happens is there's another kind of height map that is the ceiling height map. And you can see that here um, if I hit control on it. So the ceiling height map's a little bit of an interesting character. Um, let me come back over to the editor and I'll show you that. So I went to the editor and I said background edit height map before. Now I'm going to edit ceiling. So this is just this section here. So it's exactly what you saw in game. And so what this looks like, um, what, what this is, is basically it's kind of an inverse height map. So normally, um, normally, he says as he clears the uh, whiteboard, normally we've got our um, height map is the thing that you stand on. So, you know, the thing here and it's got some height and you can happily stand on it. Now, if we want to do a, now if we want to do like a complicated underside of the surface, um, say in fact, say that's, say that's just floating out in midair. Say that's like attached to say a, um, a wall. So there's a wall here and that's like jutting out of the wall. Uh, what has happened? What earth has happened to my paint program? Okay. I don't know what happened there, but we seem to be back in action. So this is it's disconcerting. So, okay. So if we had a character now that wanted to stand under this, and say he jumped up, he'd hit his head on the uh, base of this object. So there's two things with this. First of all, if you've got a level with like lots of doorways and stuff, it becomes very challenging because then you have to build the entire back of the level out of a whole lot of um, individual sections. So say we wanted a doorway, um, we might have a door here, then suddenly you've got to build out, here's a solid block that's going to block you there, and then here's another solid block to block you uh, there, and then here's the other one for the other side of the door, it's got to block you here. It'd be much nicer if we could just say, um, rather than building out a whole bunch of blocking objects, let's um, say that he says as he clears the canvas. Let's say for a moment that we have a door like this. First of all, what we would do is we'd extend the level floor. So we just draw the, we would just draw the floor in like so. We draw floor. And then we draw a thing going into the door for some more floor. And we kind of saw this in the last video, just going into the doorway. So we'd fill that in and that's now all walkable space. But we want to um, obviously block you off the walls, which is already done because you can't get past into here because that's not walkable space. But um, we also want to block you here. We want you allowed to go in here, but not at the top. So what we do is we add a ceiling height map and that is a special kind of height map that's just for levels that just covers that region here. And so even though sort of it's defined as a solid, like the same way we define solid objects, it's actually defines an area where you will hit your head if you jump upwards. Um, so it's a special kind of height map. And one of the uh, differences from regular height maps that we have is you can do, um, you can do arches with it as well because obviously again 
the uh, bottom of a height map is always flat, but the top can be basically any shape. So we can actually define um, we can define a uh, ceiling height map that let's do it in blue to match the other one. We can define a ceiling height map that covers this section here. Whereas if we wanted to build this out of like object height maps, like just regular ones, we'd have to do a very tiny thin object here, a very tiny thin object here, and then a very tiny thin object here that sort of built out that out of a whole lot of little sections. And that's gonna be just a lot of excess objects that we sort of don't wanna have in the engine. Cause I mean, you know, it's, it's fast, but um, we want it to be very fast. We want a lot of performance. So we don't wanna be creating a whole lot of excess objects. So that is today's little discussion on um, stair, whoa. All right, so after this video, I'm gonna try and figure out what's going wrong with my uh, graphics tablet, because that's a bit unfortunate. Today, today we talked about stairs and we talked about, we talked about ceilings. Um, now, I forgot to do this last time because I have a habit of forgetting this, but you can, if you would like to watch more of these videos, you can follow my blog at andrewrussell.net. You can follow me on Twitter at underscore Andrew Russell. That's underscore Andrew Russell. Um, you can see this lovely screenshot of the engine in my graphic. You can uh, follow my YouTube channel, hit the subscribe button. I don't have too many subscribers at the moment, so go on and check that out. And finally, if you'd like to follow along with the game, uh, you can check out at River City Ransom on Twitter and um, they will also retweet these videos when I post them. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.